Welcome to a new episode of Discover Daily, the AI-generated podcast curated by Perplexity to satisfy your curiosity about the latest in tech, science, and culture. I'm your host, Alex, and in today's episode, we're diving deep into a range of captivating stories. From Raspberry Pi's public debut and Be Real's acquisition to Mistral AI's skyrocketing valuation, GM's self-driving reboot, and the hidden history of a pioneering computer scientist. So sit back, relax, and let's get started. In a landmark move, Raspberry Pi, the company that revolutionized the single board computer market, has gone public with an IPO on the London Stock Exchange. The initial pricing of Raspberry Pi shares puts the company's valuation at around £541.6 million. CEO Eben Upton founded the Raspberry Pi Foundation in 2009 out of the University of Cambridge's Computer Laboratory. The Foundation's mission is to advance non-formal learning, education and research, especially for the younger demographic, by providing low-cost computing. In 2012, the commercial subsidiary Raspberry Pi El Otto Deer was launched to scale up marketing and distribution. In fiscal year 2023, Raspberry Pi El Turd generated $266 million in revenue across 60 million devices sold, with $66 million in gross profit. Most of the revenue comes from Europe, 38%, North America, 29%, and Asia, 26%. The Raspberry Pi IPO is expected to enable the company to expand operations, build more beloved products faster, and double down on the foundation's educational mission. As the company enters this new chapter, it's poised to continue democratizing computing and inspiring the next generation of tech enthusiasts. Next up, Be Real, the authenticity-focused social media platform has been acquired by French mobile apps and games publisher Voodoo for a staggering 500 million euros. The app encourages users to share unfiltered moments of their lives and has amassed over 40 million active users, with half of them using the platform at least six days a week. Be Real allows users to post short two-minute real-time videos of what they are doing every day at the time they receive a push notification. Photos disappear within 24 hours and there are no follow or like features, fostering more genuine connections. Voodoo plans to leverage its expertise in product strategy, growth and infrastructure to scale Be Real and unlock its full potential. The acquisition marks a significant milestone for Be Real, as it seeks to create a more authentic online world with Voodoo's support. In other news, Mistral AI, a Microsoft-backed startup co-founded by former Meta and Google DeepMind employees, has raised $640 million in a new funding round, propelling its valuation to an impressive $6 billion. The company is at the forefront of developing foundational models to rival the market's top large language models. Mistral AI's advanced models are designed to be repackaged as API-first products, making them accessible to a wide range of industries. The company's frontier sparse model of experts' architecture sets a new standard in performance and efficiency. This latest funding round positions Mistral AI to push the boundaries of AI innovation and bring state-of-the-art technology to the masses. As the company continues to collaborate with tech giants like SAP, IBM and Microsoft, it's clear that Mistral AI is poised to play a pivotal role in shaping the future of artificial intelligence. In the automotive sector, General Motors' self-driving taxi company Cruise is gearing up to restart operations in Texas just months after being expelled from California due to safety concerns. The company plans to initiate testing in Dallas and Houston with a small fleet of autonomous vehicles and safety drivers on board. 
This move comes as Cruz seeks to rebuild trust with regulators and the public following a tragic collision in San Francisco that critically injured a pedestrian in October 2023. Cruz had stopped all operations nationwide after the incident. As part of its reboot, Cruz will focus on manual driving to collect essential data and create maps in select cities. This process will help determine the locations for the eventual resumption of driverless operations. Cruz has also established new leadership, hired a chief safety officer, and is working to reform incident response protocols and re-engage with first responders. While the path ahead may be challenging, Cruz remains committed to the development of safe and reliable self-driving technology. The company believes AVs can save lives, reduce accidents, and improve transportation options for the elderly and disabled. Finally, Lynn Conway, a pioneering computer scientist, has finally received the recognition she deserves for her groundbreaking contributions to the field of microchip design. Despite facing discrimination and being fired by IBM in 1968 for being transgender, Conway persevered and went on to co-develop a revolutionary method of microchip design known as Very Large Scale Integration, VLSI. Conway's work at Xerox PARC in the 1970s, in collaboration with Professor Carver Mead of Caltech, produced a structured VLSI design methodology that was easy to teach and learn. Their seminal textbook, Introduction to VLSI Systems, became the foundation for the modern chip design revolution. A key element of the new methodology was Conway's invention of scalable ratio design rules that greatly simplified the conceptualization and computer processing of VLSI circuit layouts. Conway also invented an internet-based infrastructure for rapid prototyping of VLSI chips, which became the basis for the MOSIS service used by universities and research organizations worldwide. What was unknown until recently is that Conway had also invented Dynamic Instruction Scheduling, DIS, at IBM back in 1965, enabling the creation of superscalar computers. By the 1990s, DIS was being used in almost all powerful PC chips. Conway's story is one of resilience, innovation, and the triumph of the human spirit. Her work not only transformed the tech industry, but also challenged societal norms. As Conway herself says, the joy I felt, the joy of discovery, the daring to push send on something that I knew was going to change the world. Her legacy serves as an inspiration, reminding us that no matter the obstacles, we have the power to shape our own destinies and make a lasting impact. And that wraps up today's episode of Discover Daily. If you want to learn more about any of these fascinating topics, be sure to check out the links in the episode description. And don't forget to subscribe to Discover Daily on your favorite podcast platform to stay up to date on the latest in tech, science, and culture. Download the Perplexity app on Android or iOS. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Until then, stay curious.